Hi fellow travelers! So if you're looking for something to do here in Philadelphia, make sure you stick around. In this video, we're gonna visit historical sites, the birthplace of America, and so much more. Let's get to it! Hey, welcome back to Angel's Video Diary and it's me, your travel angel. And I help fellow travelers overcome the difficulties of planning a trip by giving a list of things to do in a city. I also share my personal style here. All right, so last week we toured Penn Museum and now I'm excited to visit one of the places where America was born. Let's explore Independence National Historic Park. All right, so here are a few things you need to know before you go. So we're heading back to Independence National Historic Park. So we want to check out more historic buildings and explore more of the park. And I actually downloaded the mobile app audio tour. This is totally free and it will help you navigate and get around the park. The app will also tell you if a building or a museum is closed or if it's open or if you need tickets if you have to purchase it in advance as well so if you want to download the app I'm gonna add the link in the description below so go ahead and check it out so you can park at the Independence Mall parking garage it's right below the Independence National Historic Park Visitor Center so you can start your tour at the Visitor Center you can get travel maps and brochures here and there are park rangers who will provide information about historical sites that you can visit here or maybe you want a little something to munch on as well all right so first stop is the birthplace of america now admission is free and there's a security check before you go in two groups of 10 are allowed to go in at a time and by the way due to the pandemic the lawns and park are not crowded so you can take pictures of independence hall without you know a bunch of people in front of the building now let's go inside independence hall just take your time i'll go through the arch to the courtroom on the left and enjoy The assembly room is where the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution were both signed. The original documents are now inside the National Archives Museum in Washington, D.C. Next stop is the Liberty Bell. Honestly, we actually got lucky the last time we were here. I mean, even though it was raining, there were a few people visiting the site. The rain was kind of like a blessing in disguise, so it only took us a few minutes to go inside. that Philadelphia was once the capital of the United States? Yes, so that was for 10 years between 1790 to 1800. And that was the time when Washington DC was being built. And then you should also make a quick visit to the President's House site, which is across the Visitor Center. Basically, it's an outdoor exhibit. The original house was demolished in the early 1800s. Presidents Washington and Adams once lived here. And now let's visit the portrait gallery in the Second Bank of the United States. So welcome to the Second Bank of the United States. Let's go and explore it. The building was originally constructed to be the Second Bank of the United States. Now it's where you can view portraits of major figures of the Revolutionary War era. So I just want to let you know that these paintings are not oil paintings so you can use flash photography here you are welcome or free to take photos and videos as much as you want coming up next we're gonna go inside carpenters hall welcome to carpenters hall this is like the place where all the philadelphia master builders meet so we're gonna go inside and check it out Now, we're 
before passing by City Tavern. The City Tavern is where America's founding fathers dined, such as George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, just to name a few. Hey, if you're learning and enjoying this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also click the bell to turn your notifications on. And now you might pass by the statue of the signer as well, which is just a short walk behind Independence Hall. You can quickly explore the small and peaceful garden or read a little history about this bronze statue. This amazing piece of history is one of the symbols that honors the signing of the Declaration of Independence. All right, so let's move on to our next destination, and we're visiting the first bank of the United States. The building was constructed in 1795. What we're looking at right now is the first bank of the United States. Now, here's a quick look of Christ Church. This is where notable and famous figures from the past attended church. Inside, you can see where George Washington and Benjamin Franklin sat. Then there's also Christ Church Burial Ground. The cemetery is the final resting place of Benjamin Franklin and his wife, Deborah. There's an entrance fee, but you can actually see the burial site of Benjamin Franklin from outside. Have a look! And so we're also passing by the Dolly Todd or Dolly Todd Madison House. This is the house where Dolly Madison lived with her first husband, John Todd, who died from the yellow fever in 1793. Dolly married James Madison, who became the fourth president of the United States. And there's also the 18th century garden. It's a nice and small garden located on the side of the Dolly Todd House. Make sure to check it out and snap a few photos. And next stop, we're visiting the Merchants Exchange. This is the Merchants Exchange and it's the oldest stock exchange building in the United States. Let's go and check it out. And now let's visit the Declaration House. This is where Thomas Jefferson lived and at the same time where he drafted the Declaration of Independence. The original house was demolished but was rebuilt in 1975. The museum is closed right now, but this is what you can expect if you were to go inside. Up next, we're heading to Washington Square. It was formerly known as Southeast Square. It was also one of the original parks planned by William Penn, which was part of the city planning. Okay, so another house you might pass by is the Betsy Ross house. Now, Betsy Ross is believed to have sewed the first American flag. You can actually view the house from the street or you can pay the entrance fee if you want to go inside. Okay, last stop, let's head over to Alfred's Alley. And welcome to the oldest residential street in the United States. So don't forget to visit Alfred's Alley. It's a small alley but you know you see old brick houses cobblestone streets and there are actually 32 houses here and 29 of them are privately owned well i hope this got you excited to visit philly Check out my videos on things to do in Philadelphia. So I have part one, two, and three. And just, uh, yeah, check out my Philadelphia playlist. So you can click on the link card or the end card when it pops up. And don't forget to comment below and let me know what your greatest takeaway from this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like and share button. Or subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell to turn your notifications on. You can follow me on social media, that's at Angel's Video Diary. Subscribe to my blog, MyPurplePages.com. Hey, remember, continue to spread positivity and I'll see you next time. So last week I was here, they just started to bloom, now they're in full bloom. And welcome to Eastern State Penitentiary. All right, so it looks like Shane Confectionery is still closed. Right now, we're gonna try and walk across the Benjamin or Ben Franklin Bridge.